The Harvard MIT Mathematics Tournament is an annual high school math competition that started in 1998. This tournament is one of my favorites as it usually features very interesting problems designed by Harvard and MIT students. If you would like to check out the archive of problems, I have put a link in the description below. Without further ado, let us check out today's problem. This problem was taken from the guts round of the recent tournament in November 2020. The problem statement is as follows. Two points are chosen inside a unit square uniformly at random. And the unit square is then drawn center at each point with edges parallel to the coordinate axis. Find the expected area of the union of the two squares. In just a second, I'll be switching over to the next slide to present a solution that is different from the official solution. Do pause the video if you would like to try out the problem. Okay, so we'll be solving this problem by taking a slightly different perspective. Let us first ask ourselves, what is the set of points which have a chance of being covered by at least one of the two squares? This is given by the dotted square as shown here. Now for a tiny area element dx by dy, we calculate the probability of it being covered by at least one of the two gray squares and integrate this probability over the entire big square to get our final answer. Now even with this line of attack, this problem is still far from over. We now focus on an area element in the lower left quadrant here and first calculate what is the probability that the area element will be covered by at least one gray square. Let us first start with the case of using one gray square. Notice that as the center red dot varies uniformly over the unit, the blue unit square. This lower left corner over here in purple actually varies uniformly over the lower left quadrant. And now this gray square will cover our green unit, green area element if and only if the purple corner lies both to the left and to the bottom of the green area element. So for simplicity, I'm going to call the very left corner of our whole diagram the origin. And for area element located at coordinate x, y, the probability is covered by one gray square is therefore the probability that this purple corner lies inside this rectangle here. And this probability is given by x, y. And therefore the probability that the green dot, the green area element is not covered by the gray square is the 1 minus of that is 1 minus x, y. The probability now that is not covered by either of the two squares is then the square of that 1 minus x, y quantity squared. And finally, we have to flip it around again to get the probability that it is covered by either of the two squares being 1 minus 1 minus x, y quantity squared. And so now it is a matter of integrating over the lower left quadrant. We sum this probability over the lower left quadrant to get a, using a double integral uh, from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. But let us not forget to multiply by 4 to cover all four quadrants. The answer is therefore given by the expression shown. We now expand the quantity to get this double integral here. Following which, we first integrate in x to get the expression over here, where x is supposed to be substitute, substituted in with values 0 and 1. So we substitute in to get a single integral left, and now we perform the single integral to get the final answer of 14 over 9. So the last part is just the evaluation of double integral and the, the crux of the problem is to actually work through the reasoning to set up this double integral. So that's all for today's video. What do you think of this problem? Please subscribe to the channel and I'll be covering some problems from the AMC 2021 in the next video. Thanks for watching.